bacteria are on us and inside us. About two and a half pounds of them just in your intestines. Face, neck and armpit have the highest count. There are 16 million microbes in every square inch of your armpits. To seek out these microorganisms, we fly down into the unfamiliar landscape of the human skin, magnified thousands of times. Bugs live around oil and sweat glands, which provide them with food. Many find temporary lodging under the dead outer cells of our skin. We provide a warm home for bacteria and a traveling snack bar. They lodge in every crevice, even the ridges of our fingertips. Fungi do best in moist environments, feet and groin. Bugs between our toes give themselves away by releasing pungent gases. These smelly organisms belong to a family of bacteria, which cheesemakers add to brie to provide its ripe smell. Our resident bacteria pay for their keep. They protect us by preventing harmful bugs from taking hold. Living on our skin are deadly microbes, Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. Should they get into the bloodstream, both can kill. Our microscopic allies defend us. They make antibiotics which keep killers at bay. Every hour of every day, these friendly microbes are waging chemical warfare on our behalf. They are the advance guard of the body's inbuilt defense mechanisms. And Graham, though he doesn't know it, is now putting his own defenses to the test. Leaving behind the seething communities with which he shares his home, he's heading for some fresh air. Far from the madding crowds of mites and microbes and the obvious dangers of pollution, he should be safe Yet, Graham's body defenses remain on the alert. His first line of defense is his skin, his tough, waterproof coat. The outer layer peels off daily, shedding bugs and dirt. But to live, there must be holes in this armor, to hear and see, to eat and breathe. Each vulnerable orifice has its own protection. Hairs in his ears keep out dirt. Earwax is a sticky grave for bugs. Tears contain a powerful antiseptic. We rarely get eye infections. His nose is another weak point in his armor. Hairs in the nostrils trap some invaders. And in the nasal passages, mucus immobilizes bugs. Millions of microscopic hairs called cilia capture debris to protect our sensitive airways. But some things escape these defenses. Our lungs are a vulnerable battleground. Asbestos fibers, pollen and dust, waste from the factory chimneys, tar from cigarette smoke, all may slip through to clog up the lungs. In this idyllic spot, the air looks clean and healthy, but Graham hasn't left his problems behind. <laughs> Pollen, dust mites, cat dander, all can trigger the miserable symptoms of allergies, hay fever and asthma if they get up our noses. Scientists believe that allergies are a 20th century affliction. <laughs> We sneeze because our immune systems make a mistake. Until this century, parasites like these worms lived in our intestines. Our bodies evolved ways to attack them. Hay fever sufferers react to substances like pollens and dust mites as if they were protecting themselves from this long-gone worm. 
with mast cells so vital for damage repair, burst into action in the mucous tissue of eyes, nose, and bronchial tubes. They flood the region with histamine, which makes eyes water and noses run. The miserable symptoms of hay fever are a case of mistaken identity. Graham's outer defenses are not foolproof. His skin is tough, but it may suffer harm. Without the sun, there would be no life on Earth. Yet UV radiation can burn and age our skin. It can cause skin cancer, one of the fastest growing killer diseases of the Western world. His armor may be breached in other ways, by predators not content to wait for an opening. Blood-sucking insects spread diseases. They inject parasites into the bloodstream, which colonize liver, kidneys, and brain. Malaria and sleeping sickness kill thousands in the developing world. Graham's body has fought off the attacks of the countryside as well as the dangers in his home. He never even knew he was at risk. He slept through it all. Two million years of evolution have seen to it that he'll survive if he falls off his bike or cuts himself while shaving. The healing process goes on all the time. After an exhausting afternoon, Graham joins his friends for an evening drink. The bar's another place for a couch potato to park himself and have a well-earned rest. But now he could really be in trouble. It's the perfect environment to catch something nasty. Humans are sociable creatures. It's just what germs need to survive and thrive. Germs are man's only remaining predator. In a crowded bar, it's hard not to inhale other people's breath, along with other pollutants. <laughs> 